Ted Soli here on a Wednesday afternoon, taking a quick lunch break. I've been uh, pretty bogged down with work as of late. Uh, I'm working a deadline, trying to get through some things, um, trying to get ready for the holidays, you name it. Um, <clears throat> I have had, oh, first, some uh, housekeeping. Smoking a Rossi, uh, which is made by Savinelli. Uh, Vittoria 111. I absolutely love this pipe. Um, I got it on Black Friday along with two other Vittoria Rossi pipes. Um, one is a, kind of a shorter pot and then the other is a 320 or an 8320 as Rossi's number indicates. And I absolutely love these pipes. My very first pipe that I bought after my corn cob that kind of got me started was a 7LE 320. Um, and it has this exact same rustication on it. And I absolutely love this rustication. And these pipes are super nice, especially for the money. I think I ended up paying like 30 bucks on Black Friday for each one of these. So 90 bucks, three pipes, um, that's a great deal, no matter who you are or when you shop. Um, in it, I'm smoking some, uh, you guessed it, Bayou Morning. I cannot get enough of this stuff. I love it. It has become my daily smoke. As long as I can keep it lit. Since my last uh, update video, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers. Um, the list, and I'm looking down at the list, is the Great American Pipe Doc Piper. Thank you. Cigar Smoking Vets 2. Thank you for your sub. Oki Piper John. I presume Oki Piper John is in Oklahoma or has lived in Oklahoma at some point. Uh, Andrew Charter. Thank you. Peddler Piper. Thank you for your sub. Eric's Random World. I love the name of that channel. Um, thank you for your sub. The Dark Lord of the Pipe. Um, sorry, I had to say it that way. Thank you for your sub. And finally, the most recent one is Matches860. Um, yeah, I know that's not a great impersonation, but um, had a quick chat with him on uh, comments yesterday. And just to let him know that I appreciated his channel, I appreciate the fact that he's a storyteller. He's a great story storyteller. Um, it's actually an attribute that I, I think, in today's world, we're losing sight of. Um, you know, my granddad was a storyteller, my dad's a storyteller, um, but I think this next generation is <clears throat> maybe not as good, and maybe I shouldn't discount the entire generation, but um, maybe not as good as, uh, you know, generations of the past because they have so many influences, so many entertainment things to do, etc. that uh, I think storytelling is uh, becoming a lost art. So, Matches, thank you for uh, for keeping that tradition going. Um, what have I been doing lately? I went out to the Briar Report and subbed all of the YTPC members that are on his list on the main page. I still have yet to go to the master list. I understand that list is pretty long, so I haven't quite got to that yet. Um, but uh, I'd highly recommend you doing that. Go out to thebriarreport.com, look at all the uh, YouTube presenters in the YP, YP, YTPC, and, uh, and sub them. And believe me, it'll keep you busy. Which is why I'm a little apprehensive about going through the entire list, but I want to get to know folks. So um, we're going to give that a shot at some point when I have time. A um, couple of quick updates. And if you've been watching my channel, you know there's probably nothing real quick about um, when I get to talking. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a stoving... Uh, demonstration or instructional video of uh, the stoving process for Peter Stoker B Bullseye Flake, um, which is a vapor with a tiny bit of uh, black Cavendish. 
Um, I want to do a review video of that. It is ready. I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't already smoked a couple of uh, coins, because I have. And while it's amazing, I'm going to share the review with you, and I'm going to wait to share the review with you when uh, my next tobacco order comes in, because I've got some unstoved uh, bullseye uh, coming in, and I want to be able to do side-by-sides and, and show you the differences that the stoving process makes and kind of describe to those to you when, when I smoke both of them uh, together. Well, not together. That'd be weird. Two pipes. Um, <clears throat> So I have a couple of uh, tobacco orders coming in. Um, I may show you guys everything I'm getting once it comes in and talk to you a little bit about why I'm getting them, what I'm doing with them, etc. And then uh, a couple, uh, maybe last week I posted a pipe restoration. It sounds like folks are interested in me doing that video, so I'm going to do one. Um, I'll post the link to that video where I showed all three pipes that I have coming in that are candidates for restoration. Well, they're all candidates for restoration, but candidates for the restoration video. And um, what I'd like you to do is go back to that video and post your vote for which one of those three pipes you would like. Um, I've already got two of them in, the Iwan Reese and the Chippendale are both in, and I'm still waiting on the Bulldog. Um, and I think because of the National Day of Mourning for the passing of George Bush, um, some of the mail's um, taken a little bit longer than anticipated, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I think George Bush was a great president, so. Um, what I'd like you to do is post your vote in that video, again, link below, and what I will do is, after the restoration is done, I will go through all of the votes that are in that video, and I will assign numbers to anybody that posts a comment for a vote, and I will give away the pipe that I do the restoration on. I'm actually going to restore all three, but I will give away the one pipe that I restore on video. But in order to do that, you've got to post a vote on the video in the description. Um, I don't necessarily want to call this video a gall, but uh, I guess it is. Um, <clears throat> but I thought that would be neat to be able to, to give that away. Not sure on the timing, um, etc. In fact, I hadn't even thought about that until I started recording this video. So, same rules apply to most folks. If you are going to comment, you need to be of legal smoking age. Um, I will limit it to folks in the continental United States, just because I think it's going to be easier and uh, we'll go from there. So link in the description, go put your vote in. Which one of the three pipes do you want to see restored? Um, and regardless of which one you vote for, um, I'll enter you into that contest. Um, finally, last thing on my list is I'm doing a couple of experiments. I had a quick conversation with Padre Piper after my truck rant video last week, last week or the week before, and um, he got me to thinking, and the light bulb went on, and I'm doing an experiment. I'm not going to tell you what that experiment is just yet. Got to have some level of suspense. Um, but if it works out, and frankly, I don't know if it's going to work out, um, even if it doesn't work out, I'm going to post the video on how I did it, because I'd like uh, ideas and suggestions on how it might work a little bit better. Um, but... Once that video is up um, and the experiment's done, I hope to be able to send some of that to uh, to Padre Piper, just because he was responsible for uh, for giving me the idea. So that's all I got. That's my update for today uh, on this Wednesday afternoon. I got to get back to work. As I said, I've got a lot of deadlines that I got to hit, and so. That's about it. Once again, if you haven't figured it out yet, I am Road Glide Sully.
Catch you next time. We'll be right back.